Alright, here we are. The Brussels sprouts, yellow and orange peppers, uh, quinoa, uh, squash, Jerusalem artichoke, sweet onion, garlic, olive oil, turmeric, black pepper, a little bit of curry, and over here I did the same thing. Oh, and cilantro, in both. Um, and I got some coconut milk in here, as you saw over there. And that's rising to the top. And this is going to be a coconut curry. And in a minute, I'm going to add some lemongrass. That's uh, fresh out of my front yard. And I also put in Cuban oregano in this batch. And so I went ahead and I got my lemongrass out of the garden. And even though it's fr frozen here several times, mine's still alive. Of course, some chopped ginger and a little bit of lemon. That's going to get tossed in there. And to make it a little bit more hearty and give it some protein, I'm going to add some organic Trader Joe's red kidney beans and some tilapia from Ward's. Okay, now what I did is I split the different strips. Now you can just cut coins with the stalks, but if you pull it all apart down to the bottom, uh, it's it's a little um, it's not like a starch anymore. But anyway, you chop this up, and you could throw it in there, but you're gonna ha it's kind of be kind of like eating grass. So what I would recommend doing is putting it in something like a French press and making a lemonade uh, or a tea, which you could also drink. It's very very good for your immune system. And uh, in Jamaica, they call it fever grass, and of course you can add that into your broth. And uh, these little electric kettles uh, will make hot water very fast, which are excellent for tea. So this is one of the stalks. I went back out and I cut it a little bit, a little bit uh, closer to it. And that's what it looks like. And of course, you can cut it up with a knife, or you could also just cut it up with a pair of shears. And uh, drop it into your French press because the leaves are a little bit hard to cut up too. So you can also cut those with your shears. Um, that's usually what I do. Okay, so those are all chopped up. And while I'm at it, I'm going to take the rest of my ginger and I'll throw it in there too. And uh, I'll put a little bit of honey, maybe a dash of sugar and xylitol, maybe, or stevia, and make some homemade ginger ale or just ginger tea, uh, ginger lemongrass. Okay, and here's the color on the initial brew.